All right, so in this video, I want to go over expressions in JSX because up, up to this point, we just have some basic static markup in here, but we can have variables and conditionals and all types of stuff like that. So I'm going to go in my render method here and above the return and just create a variable. So I'll just create a variable called name and we'll just say John Doe. And down here, I can now use that variable by using curly braces, just one set of curly braces and just put in name. So if I save that and we take a look, we get hello, John Doe. We just put that to the now yeah, we'll just close that. So we get hello, John Doe. All right. So we can just simply put in variables. If we wanted to put any JavaScript expression in here, we can do that. We could do like one plus one and we get hello too. Okay, so if we wanted to use a, a, a method like let's take the name and let's add on to it, let's say to uppercase. And if I save that, we take a look, we get John Doe and all uppercase. So we can add JavaScript within our markup if we're using JSX. Now we could even output a function if I were to uh, I could either create a function in here. So let's say const. Foo. I'll just use an arrow function here and let's implicitly return the string bar. I could go in here and I could just say foo like that and we get hello bar. If I wanted to create a method as part of my class, let's get rid of that and we could go up here and create foo and make this an arrow and return say bars and we run down here. Now this isn't going to work because this is a method that's part of the class. So we would say this dot foo. So if I take a look at that, we get hello bars. All right. And, and if this is confusing, don't worry about it. We're going to get to all this stuff. Um, another thing we could do is conditionals. Let's just put this back to name. So in a lot of cases, we might have Uh, you know, a situation where we're fetching data from an API and a lot of times we'll have a loading variable. This might be in your state or whatever, but I'm just going to hard code this variable to true. So it's going to be a Boolean and maybe we want to show either a spinner or maybe just a text that says loading if this is true. So I'll say if I can go above the return, make sure you make sure you're above the return if you're going to use an if like this and we'll say if loading, then let's return some JSX, which is just we'll do an H4 with loading. So if I save that and I go back, we get loading. If I change loading to false and we go back, we get hello, John Doe. Now. A cleaner way to do this instead of putting an if statement up here is to use a ternary operator. Actually, I'll just get rid of that. So let's say that we only want to show this H1 if loading is false. Otherwise, we want to show an H4 just like we just did. So we could put an expression. I'm just going to go right above this and I'm going to say if loading, then this is using a ternary operator. We use a question mark. So if it's loading, then I'm going to show an H4 with loading and then else, which is represented with a um, colon, then I'm going to show this H1. So I'm going to put that right in there. So if I save that, uh, I spelled loading wrong. So if I save that, we get hello, John Doe. But if I change loading to true, we get loading. Okay, and we could put we could have, you know, other stuff like we could have an H1 up here with my app and then it would still show my app. It would just show loading in that one spot instead of taking up the whole page. So this comes in very handy. Now, there's another way we can do conditionals and that's with the double ampersand. So let's say we have a value up here called show name. And we'll set that to true. And let's say that we only want to show the name part of this if this is true. So I could do a ternary here like I could do uh, inside here. We'll say if show name, then show name else, 
then just no, nothing, show nothing. So I could do that. If I save that prettier, just formats it a little bit. But uh, oh, we're still loading. Let's change loading back to false. Okay, so we get hello John Doe, and if I change show name to false, it should just show hello. Now, since we're not doing an else, it's just null. We don't even have to use a ternary. We could simply get rid of this and use double ampersand here. So what this is saying is only show the name if this is true. Only do this if this side is true. So if I save that, we get just hello. But if I say show name to true, then we get hello John Doe. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, we'll be using conditionals throughout the course, um, ternaries and this syntax here. All right, so that's it. Let's move on to the next video.